The 2018 Remember the Removal Cyclists traced the northern route of the Trail of Tears, traveling about 60 miles a day across Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, and Arkansas, before winding up their thousand mile journey here in Tahlequah at the end point of the trail. They relied on teamwork and an excellent support staff to get them down the road each day. The riders took frequent rest stops to hydrate and get some extra energy. Then it was back on the road. A photo at the state line marked the ride in from Cassville, Missouri into Arkansas. It was then on to Pea Ridge Military Park where they were greeted with cheers. The team had a chance to tour the museum and learn about its part in the Trail of Tears drama. But in 1837, whenever the first contingent, uh, which would have been B.B. Cannon, came through, they would have come down this road uh, on December the 23rd, 1837. Park Superintendent so Kevin Eads talked here, about a special spot at the park, and then they walked the down to take a look for themselves. The ride into Oklahoma through Lincoln, Arkansas was the most anticipated portion because the riders knew they would be close to home and they weren't about to let a little rain stop them. Welcome to Oklahoma! There was a brief stop so the riders could cross over the state line in step together. The Remember the Removal bike ride is one way to ensure that our future leaders don't forget the past and always honor the sacrifices our ancestors made. The ride into Tahlequah through Adair and into Cherokee County was accompanied with an escort from the Cherokee Nation Marshal Service who stopped traffic in order for the riders to climb Eldon Hill. Each rider who made it to the top helped to encourage the other riders. Good job! One last hill. Oh, it burned the whole way up. <laughs> but it was so much fun. The riders made their way to the new Cherokee National Peace Pavilion in Tahlequah with cheers from family and friends who welcomed them with hugs and tears. Are you glad you went? Yeah, that's probably the best thing that I ever did for myself and for my people. The Remember the Removal riders serve as ambassadors along the road in towns and cities they ride through. Since the beginning of this event, back in the mid-1980s, every participant has been asked to dig deep within themselves to find untapped reservoirs of strength and perseverance.